Hi. Today I'm going to give you a lesson on how to paint portraits without knowing how to draw. It's called the flip-flop technique. It's going to ruin your life and amaze your friends. But before I get started, I want to remind you to follow me on my social media platforms. YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and that age-old favorite, Facebook. A little water. That's all. Okay, so I worked as an illustrator for decades. And as an illustrator, one of the things that I could do was portraits. And one day, I had a client who said to me, your portrait's off. Like, like this guy was really being very picky. One of the things that he did was he took a photograph of the face that I was working on and he put it on top of my painting and he flip-flopped it back and forth. And as he flip-flopped it, if an eyeball was out of place, you would see it animate a little bit, right? I was kind of amazed at how this was working and how I could see where the nose was a little too big or any, any of the features. And so what I wound up doing was going from something that was almost a pretty terrific portrait that was sort of drawn by eye without tracing to uh, something that became a tracing without actually tracing. I started this by saying well, I was going to ruin your life. And the thing that happened to me with this technique was I got a little lazy and instead of developing my drawing, I developed my ability to trace in this way. What you do is you flip flop the paper back and forth and it gives you an indication of where all the darks and lights are, all the important lines that define the shape of what you're working on is. And so, I'm gonna just stick to my thin brush. So you can walk into the art director's office the next day and you could show this portrait especially if you're working for somebody else it's always going to look like the individual you're portraying it's funny to talk while you're doing this so you do this and then you start to animate it right and you see how things are falling into place so things will fall into place and things are always needing to be manicured and when you need to manicure it, you can use white paint to beat it back to where it needs to be. So right now I'm working on the outside of the, the outside shape of the face. And I don't know how well the camera's seeing this, but the one thing that is happening here is I'm not exactly tracing it, so you are getting some extra marks that looks like I'm striking out at it. Maybe he is drawing it, right? But I think this technique excludes drawing ability. I think you can do this without really being somebody who knows how to sit down in front of somebody and capture their image. This is really a mechanical job I'm doing right now. Thanks for making it this far. You got to see how I get a painting boxed in with the flip-flop method. From here, it's a little less technical and it's about feeling and that's where I go to finish and that's where I feel the magic really comes in. But it's nice to take that shortcut. And if you like that shortcut, remember to subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment. And if you want to see more of my work, go to victorstaben.com where you can also shop. If you're tired, Folks, if you're tired of giving your money to Jeff Bezos and you just woke up and you said, I got to buy something, go to victorstatement.com. You could get books, you could get prints, you could get boxes of postcards, boxes of flashcards. You can get mugs and t-shirts. It's just the beginning. See you soon.